Um, so I know I'm here for you to interview me, but I got I got to ask about you writing Simpsons and being staff on that. Like, oh, what, cool. how, yeah, that, sure, go I ahead. Just, it's, I just think, did you did you write full full episodes? Yeah, and just hand them in and go yeah. like that's mine. Well, what happens is, um, and this should be the whole interview, I think. <laughs> Ed Sheeran talks to Conan O'Brien about The Simpsons, and I'm in heaven right now. That's what uh, I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you all about it. It is funny because it is one of the now that there's an internet there and the clips are you know clips circulate. I can when I travel around the world or if I travel around the UK, they can know me from clips of comedy clips from my show. But before that, when I would go to the UK. Uh, they would not know who I was because a lot of American talk shows weren't shown there, but they would know if The Simpsons came up, they would flip out and they would ask me which episodes I worked mm. on and I would tell them and they would be able to know all those, they would know everything because Simpsons fans are everywhere. Well, it was in, in England as well, like it was, we only really had, no one had cable. So we had BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and maybe Channel Four. Right. And BBC Two every day had two episodes of The Simpsons. So like you'd get home from school and that would be the thing you watch. And it just like... I get, but never, I swear BBC only owns a couple of seasons because it was always the same episodes. <laughs> and like, I see right. new seasons now. And you never saw Bart get older. Yeah. It was, <laughs> I think it, we, we, stopped, we stopped at like season 10. Yeah. Uh, but my, ki my kids love it now. Well, what's funny is that, um, you know, I was there, uh, I don't see, I'm, my, Simpsons fans know everything mm. and they get upset that I don't know it because I was there and I was there, you know, in a fairly early stage considering how long it's run but we um, would watch the episodes hundreds of times whereas you probably just wrote we were we would it work and... on those ones but uh yeah what would happen is you would pitch a concept for an episode so i would go and i'd say here's what i think should happen and i would have all these beats for an episode and ideas for an episode and if they liked it they would there was a little gong in the room and they would you do this once a year and uh they would Literally, if they laughed and the the executive producer was really laughing, someone would get up and bang the gong and say, no. like, that's going to be an episode. And I remembered uh, the couple of times that they banged the gong when I said my episode and I my episodes and I was so excited. Were Bang you doing late night then or you no, went from... Oh, no. God, no. No. Late night is you have they to... I remember an episode where they rip you on it and you're a late, late night yes. host on it. But so yeah. you would just homage. come on. It was an homage. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a rip. <laughs> Those are my friends. They would never do that to me. They're... <laughs> They're comedy writers. They're very kind. Um, <laughs> no, it's funny because, uh, yeah, I was working on The Simpsons and then uh, for uh, a couple of seasons. And then I went to audition for this late night show thinking I'll never get this. I'm a writer on The Simpsons and then I tragically got it. And uh, <laughs> that's how it felt at the time. Like, oh, shit. But I left. And was uh, there ever part of you that just like turned up at the writer's room being like, can I chuck in an idea every now and then? Well, you know, it's that. so funny. I did come back years later and the room is not, so many people think, oh my God, you know, this epic television show and this known for its, you know, really good writers. And I'm just, these people I got to work with are insanely talented. And the room is just awful. The room is terrible. It looks like the worst I mean, it did at the time. I think it's much nicer now, but there was just a bad shag carpet, sofas that, you know, if you're at your first year in college or university and you just get them on the sidewalk. <laughs> and we would sit there and eat fried food. There was a writer that smoked all the time who sat next to me. So uh, when I die, it'll be because of him. And <laughs> oh, big laugh, gang, <laughs> laugh it up. <laughs> and we'd eat bad food and, and think, and so it wasn't sexy or fun or cool at all, but, uh, and, and I remember we played it, we all chewed up some caramel and put it together into a big blob and mashed it up into the ceiling <laughs> oh. and then tried to get things to stick to it because you'll do anything to pass the time. I love that. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just and say Sharon, you're one I've of loved... the best guests we've ever had on this show? <laughs> yeah.